Happy howlings and good growlings. I'm Rusty Dog. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And today we've got a couple of cars in the shop. We have a sorry looking Ferrari F40. Um, I think this is the uh, Liberty Walk version. Is it? No, it's not. I'm getting it mixed up with something else. But it's a strange... Uh, what should we call it? It's a strange mix of a car, this. Uh, it's a Ferrari F40 with, for some reason, it has a V12 Huayra engine in there. Uh, I might take that out, actually, and put a, a V8 in there, because that's what it's supposed to have. This has a V8, um, the McLaren Senna. So, I think, what we, well, it did have a V8. I took it out. It's on the stand over there. This is all the engine it came with. <laughs> it's not really worth doing anything with, is it? Um... So I think what we're going to do is build up the engine first. Uh, I've got the battery over on charge. That's been charging overnight, so that should be all nice now. Uh, I've got to keep the immersion up. And then we'll take a look at the mechanics and the bodywork. The only way to get the engine out on this thing, uh, or get at the engine, I should say, is from underneath, because I can't find a way to take... Oh, wait a minute. That's that trunk window. Yeah. We've got this trunk window, which is apparently an exhaust. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get to here. And we've got a couple of bits that we can take off right now. So let's do those. Uh, and then the engine head. Just undo this. It's been a little while since I've been on this. So you, you do tend to uh, feel like you need a bit of a refresher course on these things. But I'm sure I'll get back to grips with it very quickly. Ah. Pistonios. So that means if we've got pistons, we're going to need to uh, flip this engine around. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I was going to rotate it 180, but it's okay like this. Um, oh, it looks like the pistons are ready to come out. They don't have any. They don't have any rod rod things on there, whatever they're called, rod caps. It's going to come straight out, look. The only reason um, I'm even bothering with this engine is just to see what we can repair, like the block and stuff. Okay, there we go. You'll see now. So we'll take it over to the bench, and we'll see what's repairable. Okay. Anything that's repairable has been repaired. So, uh, looks like I've got stuff left over from last time. All right, so obviously the piston with the con rods, they're no good. So what we'll do is we'll sell parts. I don't know where I am here. We're just gonna sell everything that isn't 100%. I'm gonna go to 98. All right, so <laughs> this is all we have left. Um, we've got an engine head, but not the actual block. So we're going to have to create a new one on this one. I believe it's a double overhead cam V8. I'm just going to double check on here, so I'm building the right engine. V8 twin turbo double overhead cam. That's what we need. V8 twin turbo double overhead cam. So now we've got to go to here. Uh, oops, I need to click on the stand first. Create a new engine. And we need to find it's one of these red ones. I forgot what it was now. <laughs> V8 twin turbo double overhead cam. That was the one, wasn't it? That, that is it, yes? I just want to make sure that of the twin turbo thing. Yeah, V8 twin turbo. Okay, so now we have a new engine here. So... Part mount. Okay, so it tells us the first thing we need is an engine block. Quattro porte. So, I'm just going to do this one, just to get us started. So we'll go up here. And we're going to go into engine and qua, qua, engine qua, engine block, quattro porte. 
that's Maserati, obviously. So for some reason, we're sticking a Maserati engine into a McLaren and a Huayra, a Pagani Huayra engine into, <laughs> into a Ferrari. Oh, what strange worlds we live in. I suppose, I don't think the engine that was in the car was worth very much. I don't remember what I paid for this car, but it wasn't very much. Uh, but its current value is $102,000, as is, as it stands. That That's probably workable. I don't, I don't know if it is. So let's go to part mount. And I think we have the crankshaft, do we? We do. That got fixed. And also one of the heads uh, got fixed as well, but we can't put the heads on until we start getting um, pistons and piston, uh, yeah, pistons and all the other bits in. So I'm going to have to buy all of this. So what I'm going to do is do a quick click of my fingers and it'll all be built up. So I'm going to build this uh, so you don't have to... I'm not going to do it over time lapse. I'm just going to build it. And then once it's done, we'll be back. Uh, and then... Um, we can proceed with the rest of the car. All right, so I'll be back in a flash. Okie dokie then, there's the engine. Maserati Quattro Porte engine, all done, all dusted, and ready to go back into the car. So, well, let's do that. Oh, we can't do that from here though, can we? Uh, Take off engine from crate, and we're going. What's that doing back over there? I don't remember telling you you could move. Okay, and we're going to stall. Now you can move. I don't know. There we go. Right, so now the engine should be in the car. Uh, maybe we can find a way to take a look at that. There it is. Okay. Got the fuel tank. We've got everything else to take out uh, that's around it. Clearly the ABS module. We'll have to get access to all of that. I've put in a performance fuel filter and performance plugs and a performance clutch. That's, that's pretty much as far as I went. Oh, not true. I got some performance ignition coils as well. So, yeah. Uh, let's have a look now. So I think what we can do, uh, we're going to need to put the car uh, up on the uh, thing. So we'll, let's start stripping it off. Uh, <laughs> the car. Uh, get the wheels off. I'm going to keep these wheels because I think they look nice and they kind of they sort of do suit the car. So we'll we'll. we'll uh, We'll either fix or, uh, yeah, they are, uh, oops, I didn't, got the wrong one there. They are, um, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I've forgotten how to take a wheel off. Um, they are Huayra wheels. Uh, I'm going to have a look uh, before I 100% decide to keep these, um, that. that these are at least similar-ish looking to the ones you find on the McLaren Senna. I'm going to have a look at some pictures of the Senna and take a look and see what's going on with that. Right, so anything that's rusty on the car, in other words, everything, except for the new engine that's gone in, uh, is going to have to come off. So let's start stripping those down. I'm going to do this in super quick time and uh, We'll be back.
Okie dokie. So we've got everything off the car mechanically. Uh, body work we'll do a bit later. So first thing to do, see how much of it we can repair. Next thing then is have a look at our inventory. It's not done with the escape button apparently. Uh, we're going to have to split the suspension up, but it doesn't matter. We don't need to split it up because uh, none of these parts are recoverable anyway. Um, tires, we're going to have to split those up and then we can come down here, sort these pieces out into condition order and then we'll start uh, into name order, I should say start um, ordering the new bits. A few bits have been salvaged, all the green ones, uh, but the red and orange isn't, isn't salvageable, so we're going to have to redo those. Probably going to fit performance air filters. Uh, in fact, definitely going to fit performance air filters. Uh, yeah, everything else looks okay. And as for the wheels, well, a look okay so this is the mclaren Senna. as you can see we have it in all orange orange black blue black which i quite like the car that we've got comes in white um but we can change that this is kind of the Senna color you would expect let's take a look then so we have uh go to view image so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine spokes. Hmm, one, two, three, four. Yep, nine spokes. So let's see if we can try and have the car looking something like this. Uh, if it allows this dual color, burnt orange kind of color and, and black. Um. Nine spokes, eh? All right. Let's see what we can do. So here in the wheel rims shop, we have rims, and we're looking for something nine spoked. Yeah. Good luck with that. Get the feeling that we may not be lucky. Which is the reason why I was saying that the rims we have on right now could be the closest we're going to be able to get. Yeah, could be. Let's have a look. Just have a quick check and see what they are because I'm going to separate them. So it's Rim Huayra Tempesta. And... The front ones are 235s, the rears are uh, 19 inch, and the rears are 315 20 inch. Okay. So we'll split these up. How many, rib how many sp uh, spokes do these have? I wasn't even counting. One, two, three, five, six. It is what it is, guys. Looks like 10 is the closest we're going to get. Which is fine. condition so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to um, salvage them so have a look I don't think we're going to salvage them to be honest one of them nah, don't fancy it all right so if I go in and have a look at my inventory 
we come down to the tires. So obviously we need two um, 19 inch rims and two 20 inch rims. And the tires are 235s, 35, 18. And on the back we have 315s, uh, 30, 20. That's quite the combination. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, they're all here. All right, let's 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 uh, check these out first. We will get them in black as well. It just makes sense to get them in black. I'm just gonna quickly sell these individually. And then we'll go and split up the suspension and do that a little bit. Fuck no, well, we'll have to just sell those. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna split them, even though they're not. Uh, even though they're not, you know, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm ordering all the right components. So we'll just split them all up, and that way they'll go into the shopping basket as separate parts, which is how they should be. If we look in the inventory now, we'll see that the suspension parts have joined everybody else down here, which is good. Now let's go shopping. Quickly get these rims and tyres uh, here. So we know it was Tempesta, these. Um, go back in again, I've just... <laughs> Lost control of the browser. Get rid of this. Now then. I think this is probably going to be the only option. At least when it comes to rims that look remotely like what we have already. Because all these have just got too many spokes on them. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Rim Classic. That's not too bad, actually. Rim Classic 16. We get those in black. That would work. The, they always do the hub as if it's huge. And then when you when you put it on the car, you realize that the hub isn't that big at all. If we look at the Tempesta, look. Look how big the... Is, but look, there's 260. <laughs> We've got to get them, I guess. So we need, oops, we don't need four. We need two of these in a size 19, right? And then we need to get two of them in a size 20. All right, so we've got those. Next thing would be tires. And I guess we're gonna have to go with race tires, right? Not going to go with slicks. It's not a car that. Uh, well, no, you you'd be driving this on the road. So we need two tires of the 19-inch variety with a width of 235 millimeters and a profile of 35. And then we need two of them. Again, but this time we want 20 inch tires. Yes, 20 inches imperial, but then the uh, the tread the tread uh, width is measured in millimeters. This is the world we live in. 
and the profile is going to be 30%. Okay. That's the rims and tires gotten, gotten, gotten. We've gotten those. So let's go take those and install them. Inch rims on 19 inch tires, or vice versa. But it's not as if you can mix them up. So let's balance that one. And while that's balancing, uh, we'll do the next one. Install, yep. See, the hub doesn't look that big, does it? The, the center of the wheel. Okay, we've got that one, take that one, and pop that one on the balancer. And while that one's going, we'll install the 20s. With these big, massive tyres on the back. Over a foot wide. 45 centimetres, I think they are. 15, right? 45 centimetres, yep. So we'll take that, take that. We'll pop this one on here, the one we need to, to do. And then we've got, I think, just the one more wheel to go. So for clarification, <laughs> as if anyone needs it, the middle bit is the rim, this is the tyre, and the whole thing is the wheel. Okay? <laughs> The metal bit on its own inside isn't isn't the wheel. That's just the rim. Okay, so we got those. We can't put them on until we put the whole car back together, but well, at least we have them. So my next task then is to go and buy. I need to go to inventory there. So I'm, I keep pressing all the wrong things. Need to now sort by name. Go to the top, and now anything that isn't 100%, I need to buy. Um, and then I can get rid of all of these parts and yeah, we're good to go. So I'll do that. I'll go and get all new parts and then we'll start putting the whole car back together again. Um, there's going to be some parts missing, I suspect. So things like, uh, where is it? It's going to be called here. Yeah, the drive axle B. Uh, oh, we do have both of them. Oh, I thought I only took one off. Um, yeah, there may be parts missing. Maybe not. I don't know. But we'll cross that bridge when we, when we come to it. All right. I will uh, be back when I've got all the bits that I need. Okie dokie. I think I've got everything. I think so. I hope so. Uh... Uh, wait a minute. Yep, look like to go. All right, so there's a few things we can fit in right here. So let's go to part mount. We'll stick in. Accessible from the engine bay. Oh, where, where do you think I am exactly? See, this is where it all starts to get weird because the engine bay is at the back, really. But it, the game thinks it's at the front. But when it says it's accessible from the engine bay, if you want to uh, uh, put these parts in, like this brake thing, you have to do it from here, see? This is going to be fun trying to get this. You can't go to the back of the car and do it. It won't let you do it. Like this brake servo. How, how can I reach the brake servo? Won't light up. What I did last time was I highlighted the car battery. And then to part mount. Ah, there we go. Will it let me put the other part of the ABS on? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Got to do it from here with a super long extension. The air filters. Get those in. Uh, battery, everything else now 
Uh, well, the fuel tanks we've got to do from underneath. Everything else we can do from here, I think. So we just jack the car up, get everything else on. All right, let's get the whole car done. Right, I think we've got everything on the car. Check my inventory. Uh, I seem to have a camshaft. I'm just going to sell that. Uh, right, so the only thing to go on the car now is uh, the gearbox. Now, as I didn't really put many performance parts in the car, I think I'm just going to go with a standard gearbox instead of the performance one. Um, so we're just going to choose a gearbox for a V8. And I'm just going to put that in. Actually, one, one, two, seven, five. I don't. Let's let's see how much the performance ones are because um, it might not be that much. Well, a little bit more, double the price. But I guess unless you're tuning the gearbox, is it worth it? doesn't add horsepower can add acceleration though but okay let's get the performance box whatever it is a it is a McLaren Senna after all right oh I'm gonna need a starter motor as well so we'll put that on and then we'll get the starter the car of course the starter wouldn't be seen to be needed and until you put the gearbox in and as for the exhaust it doesn't seem to be asking for anything more so we just got these, so it's going to be pretty loud. So we've got starter V8 to go in, so let's just grab that. And of course, before we can even start the car, we need oil and need to put the battery back in. So, no starter V8. That should be enough. Let's get this car started up. Now from here, can I access the, it's there, accessible from the engine bay. <laughs> That's going to be fun. All right. Um, I think we can actually just bring the car completely down now, to be honest. So, accessible from engine bay. Well, let's start with battery. In fact, let me go and get the battery because we can pick that up now. That's been on charge for long enough. Now we can find it. Go to part mount. Now here's the thing. Putting oil in isn't isn't a part mount uh, motion. So Yes. I love the way it tips back a little bit when it's getting nearly full. Right, so now the car should start. Everything mechanically is done. It's runnable. It can drive. Uh, it just needs body parts. Lots of them. Uh, but we should be able to, to, to drive it. So let's move the car now to... Let's say, yeah. Oh, 
whoops, left hand drive. And yeah. Well, I guess I need a steering wheel and seats. <laughs> so we're gonna go into uh sample mode for the exterior. So I'm gonna need a rear clamshell, uh rear bumper. Front bumper and front clamshell. So bumpers and clamshells. Hmm. Okay, so let's go shopping. Not in the parts notes, that's not there. So we need to go to, I guess, community car body shop. And we're looking for Senna. So we've got a couple of different clamshells, which is good. Uh, double paintable. I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe one is carbon fiber, one is not. I don't know. I wonder what the differences are. If one's carbon fiber, it means we can't paint it. So, yeah, I'm going to go for this one. And clamshell, then we want the rear clamshell but which we want paintable as well. They both look the, look the same. The Clarence Senna rear bumper, Clarence Senna front bumper, wherever you... I don't even know what the hell it's going to look like, this thing. We've got front bumper A and B, we've got a darker one and a lighter one. Go with the darker one in this occasion. Uh, we also need a door for the other side, but I'm not sure what, what is on at the moment. Um, I'm just going to get both doors because I want to make sure that they're paintable. And then we'll go with the mirrors. Yeah, so. I don't know if this body will be paintable. I hope so. We're going to put this one in. So, clamshell. See the, the grey parts mean that it's going to be paintable, which is what I want. I want to get some orange in there, but this body... But yes, it will be. There is a way to find out. That's by fixing it. Yeah, uh, it on there as well, by the looks of it. Ah, the window incorporates the bottom part. I think finally to go into front bumper. Nice. So it's starting to look a bit more like a, a Clarence Senna now. Before I proceed any further, let's fix the body up. Um, so we can't do that unless it's on a on a thing, on a move the car, on a lifter. Move it to lifter C because it's closest to where the uh, box is. So we'll move the equipment. Let's get it used. That's going to cost me, I think, a thousand for this. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just remove everything that was on the car. So we've already taken the windows out because we took the we replaced the door, so therefore they they got taken out regardless. Right, just for ease of access, I'm going to move the car back to where it was. And we'll take a look at the status of the car. See if there's any bad parts on here still. Left tail light and trunk window. Okay. 
trunk window is this thing. And a left tail light, if I can get to it, is that thing. All right. What I'm going to do is go into my inventory and just sell everything. Because now we're going to have to uh, find what we need and reassemble again. So we need a trunk window, two tail lights, and both front windows. So, tail lights. Gonna need the headlights as well, I suspect. So left tail light in red, right tail light in red, trunk. Oh, engine cover. We can put that on as well, I guess. Although there's no point. Can't even see it. And I wouldn't even know how to get to it. Well, we'll have a look at that later. So we've got... Uh, it's like we've got different windows for some reason. I'm just going to go with these two and see what happens. And also, I need a mirror. And the trunk window. The window. I think that might be it, apart from the headlights, which I'm guessing we're going to need as well, right? So we've got normal and black. Well, we went with black for the bumper, so let's go with black on the headlights. And the only other thing is the number plate, but I don't know if it wants front as well, the number plates. I go to assemble, not seeing anything here for number plate. Oh, I hate when the assembly mode cancels itself. Now I'm hoping, see, just cancels itself because it feels like it. I'm hoping that we can uh, paint the body where we need to paint it. Oh, this is really starting to get on my nerves now. Oh, these are tinted on the sides, are they? They are tinted on the sides. Mm, so we've got side tinted glass, but not... Oh, God. Can't seem to get into assembly mode now. Okay, let's walk away from the car. Back. And assembly mode is available again. Aha, so we can get to the engine cover. Can't seem to get to the rear window though. Unless I have to unless it's gonna force me to put the engine cover on first. I don't see why it would want to do that. But I you never know. Engine cover. Yep. Wouldn't let me put the rear window on until I got the engine cover on. Alright. Well, I suppose at least now we can maybe see what the engine kind of should look like. Got some nice tail lights on the back there. Yeah, that one's a, a, a thing me. Okay. Looking okay at the moment. Just hope this body's paintable. So, if we go to the license plate shop, I wonder. Now, why would there be a Brazilian? 
Just because it's Senna, you know. Uh, they're mainly concentrating on Europe and all the American states. I don't know why it stops there, but it does. Well, let's go with Great Britain, and the license plate is going to be... Fifty-three, and a. Is to make it look like it's legal and make it look like it says Senna as well. Oh. But, oh. I sometimes I'm trying to press Escape to get out of the assembly mode, but it doesn't work that way. It seems. Right. Let's see how complete or incomplete we are. Fuel pump and seats. Need a fuel pump, guys. Fuel pump. And steering wheel M3 and two seat 11. We need a fuel pump. I guess it's the same one that goes in the in the tank there, so that should be all right. So guess where it's going? It's going back onto the car lifter. Looking a much more complete car now. And you'll notice that, yeah, you can see through the glass there, look, to the car. Let's see if we can wangle our way, way round to the fuel tank. There it is. And to go to part mount mode. There she goes. Pump. Could have got a performance one, but hey. Move car back again. So it wants a BMW steering wheel, does it? Well, 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 well. I'll be damned. Going here for this. Oh, yeah, okay, that'll work. And... C11, wasn't it? Is it these? Leather Ds? I think so. I think it was... I'll have to double check, I think. I think it was two leather Ds. Yeah, it was. Just wanted to make sure. I mean, other ones would have fitted, but I just needed to be sure, sure. But we want two of those. Pity you can't pick your leather color as well, because that would have been cool. Uh, that's not the right mode. Back to normal mode, back to interior disassemble, and then switch to assemble. Which is strange, but it's the way the game works. Well, now that we've got something to sit on, that's the mode I'm trying to get out of with the escape key. Uh, let me just check car status. Everything is 100%. Interior condition, 20%. That's not a problem. Uh, we're going to go over and sort that out now. So we'll go to the valet kit. Move it to there. Pull all the way back. And we'll ballot the car. Side. And now let's have a look at the car status and see where we are. Everything should be good now. It is. We've got the hundreds all across the board. This is your normal power 798. We should be we should be breaking 800 on that one fairly easily. Whether we break a thousand torque, I probably doubt it. But yeah. So now we can sit down. Uh, yes, we can. The key. Oh yeah. Listen to that sound. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. 
bright painty booth. Painty booth. Uh, move car. So we're going to go with the orange, are we? The it's sort of red with a hint of orange, I would say, if anything. question though is it's not metallic though there we go oh. aha is the paint scheme correct looks like it is all right we're not going to be going for metallic and it doesn't do glossy which is kind of very strange that's no good pearl i guess I don't know. All right, so to get the color we want, we're gonna have to go pretty full on saturation, I would say. Brightness, well, let's keep it there for now. You can get McLaren centers in that color, but we want the burnt orange, don't we? Which I guess is gonna be down at the yellow end of the scale. So we've got yellow going to red. So it's gonna be something like this maybe brightened up. Now don't forget it, it's going to have to look fairly bright in here because it's darker outside. See, there's your red. See, now that matches what I'm looking on the screen. So, do we do that and then just increase the brightness? Maybe. That looks right to me, but once we get it outside, it's going to look a lot darker. Maybe I should go a bit lighter on this. Let's just do it with that. Get it outside and see what happens. Car straight to the dyno. Just get out the side door here. Is wow, that's a pretty good likeness. I mean, let me see if I can show you. One second, guys. Okay, so it's this color against that. I mean, it's not too bad, is it? Pretty good. Okay, let's get it on the old dyno. got over 800 horsepower all right 923 and wow did we get to a thousand newton meters of torque 1100 that's uh just for changing a few things because we didn't i didn't put performance pistons in and nothing like that but just for changing a few things wow we got yeah we got pretty pretty good performance because there so we're going to take it to the uh Speed track, right? Yeah, I think so. The F40, that F, that V12's coming out, and I'm going to put in a lesser powered V8. I think it'll be lesser powered, but it is more true to life. And of course, it's going to be the F40 is going to be Ferrari red. Of course, it is. I mean, it goes without saying. It has to be. Well, it doesn't have to be, but it will be. Okay. Now, how did I... There we go. You see it's a lot deeper here, the red color. But it's nice. It works. Oh my goodness, that's... Not to 60 and 3.5 and onwards and upwards to whatever. Oh, it's topping out there looking fifth. Okay, 
firstly, that's no good at all. No good at all. This is what you get with a custom gearbox. I guess because we added so much power, we did need a custom gearbox because we needed to be able to adjust the ratios. Um, so what I'm going to do, add another gear. In fact, guys, I'm going to add another two gears because the, the McLaren Salad does come with seven. It's a seven speed dual clutch. Let's move the back here. I didn't notice what the car was worth now. Did you guys see see it? It was, a, it was 102,000 as a rusty old bucket. Let's see what it's worth now. Oh, a million. I didn't buy it for a million. <laughs> I have to say, I bought it for a lot less. Uh, okay, so. Gearbox. We want to add a couple of gears. And I'm going to see if we can just spread this out a little. 531 kilometers, is that even realistic? Let's try. Doesn't mean the acceleration is going to be any more, it just means it's not going to run out of gears or revs when it gets you know, to 315 kilometers per hour. Which is just a shade under 200 miles an hour. So this thing should be able to cope a bit better now. Let's see how she does. It's slower, wasn't it there? 2.9? I don't know. Oh, it's bottoming out, is it? We still got another gear to go yet. Yeah. Still got another gear to go. Now you could tune it so that the end of the the end of the revs, say six thousand revs in seventh gear, happens at, just before the track ends, but I'm not gonna bother with that. We're okay here. I'm not gonna get any extra money out of it, but there's your performance figure. So we're going to sell this and make another million. Hmm. I think I bought this for like a hundred grand or something. I don't know. I can't remember. It was that long ago. But I stand to make a healthy profit. There's no reminder here as well of um, your, your buying price. You don't get reminded of what you bought it for. Uh, but yeah, it's going to go now. And we've got a restoration bonus of... 213,000. So if we sell, we're going to be making 1.2 million. Handy. Uh, I don't think I want to put it around the racetrack because, you know, I just don't want to do that anymore. Um, let's take a quick glance at this. This is an absolutely gorgeous car. And, you know, any car with the performance this has is worthy of the Senna name. It's a shame that the man himself didn't get to drive it. It has to go though, guys. So, selling it in three, two, one. And that's a sale. Next up, the Ferrari F40. Till then, bye for now.